day, viewers, and thank you so much for joining us. Today is the first day of the Spiritual Padlock Program. Now, this program came as a revelation where the man of God has said that this is a time to open up the lives of the children of God for the forthcoming year, 2019. So the man of God, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Montevain, has instructed the children of God to come with two padlocks. One will be used to lock down every problem which they have been facing in the year 2018, and the other will be used to open up their destinies for the year 2019. As you can see that we are in the mountain right now, and the place is already filled up to capacity with children of God who have come here to open up their destinies. For the forthcoming year, it's going to be a year where we are taking off to higher glory. So join us. Alors, nous allons se défendre marcher librement. serment est intitulé la clé de la destinée au contrôle alors la clé est très importante dans la vie de l'homme c'est très très important dans la vie de toute maison bâtie par l'homme alors une maison sans clé je suis ici pour vous révéler l'importance de la clé. Les herboreux charlatans utilisent cela contre les enfants de Dieu. Et cela va de même. Les natifs docteurs et les sorcières. Les charlatans, les sorciers utilisent également cela contre vous et moi. Nous utilisons également cela pour détruire le plan maléfique. Mais c'était une instruction du prophète. En disant quiconque participe à ce right il y a des bénédictions qui nous localiseront. Why we can, many of us cannot get our, what we are expecting Pourquoi ne pouvons-nous pas this year, être en possession to this time, de ce que nous désirons the, the simple truth pour cette about année, it, La vérité est la suivante. Our spiritual lives, our vie, spiritual Warehouses Notre magasin spirituel est ouvert. That's why the enemies went in. C'est pourquoi they got in and they pack. Ils s'est infiltré pour s'accaparer. And they pack pour s'accaparer. Our goods. Nos That's why we cannot see them. It's very important. Pourquoi est-ce que la clé est très importante? As small as it is. Aussi petit qu'elle peut être définie. Is the owner of that big house. Mais la clé est le propriétaire de la maison. Qui? La clé. As small as it is, aussi minuscule et petite, every house that been built, whether 400 skyscrapers, 200 skyscrapers, 100 skyscrapers, even a single room, même si c'est une simple chambre, without key is useless. Sans la clé, c'est sans utilité quelque chose. What you have seen today, as a testimony, that is not what you're supposed to have. C'est pas ce que vous êtes supposé que vous êtes supposé posséder. They have stolen. Mais on a volé. A lot from you. 
tellement de bénédictions dans nos vies. C'est pourquoi nous trouvons dans les rêves parfois. We see our churches. Nous voyons nos églises. We see our ministries. Nous voyons notre ministère. We see our business. Nous voyons nos affaires. We see a place, a house. Nous voyons une maison. When we enter into the business, the shop, nous nous we find that no, nothing is in the shop or few things la est vide. that we saw in the shop. Il y a juste that chose. whosoever have seen that kind of dream or you rêves, lost something in a dream vous avez perdu quelque chose something dans les very important you are looking for it quelque chose important. your key of destiny Votre clé de la been attempted by devil a été he a works in two ways la clé agit de key. we can use key to la clé. lock up people that who are stolen our money pour débloquer ceux qui ont stolen our money pour ceux qui vont physically, physiquement, the same key la même clé, that they used to lock them up, we can use bloquer, it to open them. Nous When ouvrir, the time of suffering has ended, au moment de la we use it to release it. Whatever thing that we open tonight, alors ce que nous allons ouvrir from tonight, tonight that tomorrow we open them, et demain, so shall heaven so be open. Amen. Yeah, yeah, if you don't lock up or you don't secure your business, si vous ne sécurisez pas vos affaires spirituellement. So also they will waste your business. Également vos affaires That's why many people today they are business be doing well. After Ils some time, their business scatters. You need a key. Vous avez besoin clé. Spiritually and physically to lock up your home. Only the physical, physical one that be locked up. Juste la But the spiritual one is open. That's why your business are not working well. Si vous connaissez, there are angels that guided us in the church. Il y a des anges qui gardent l'église. In order for us. To open Afin que nous puissions our ouvrir lives, nos vies and no man can shut it et up. aucun homme ne peut fermer cela. Now, whatever one will get lock up here. Alors ce que nous allons fermer in your village, dans votre village whosoever that be a trouble or troublemaker in your life alors que quand que cause that problème person, dans votre vie that must be shut down. alors les bénédictions de cette personne sera fermée de l'église whatever thing will lock up here que nobody ce que nous avons eu à faire is going to open it. But everything will open here. Nobody. The angels will be in action. Les anges, ah, ah, ah. angels of miracle appear. Alors les anges de miracle apparaissent. Angels of miracle appear. Anges de miracle And begin to walk upon some people here. Et commence. There's a great testimony in the house. Great testimony in the house. Yes, sir. In the mountains. Yes, sir. Yes. Papa, this lady from Wari here said <laughs> when you were declaring upon the padlock. She said something happened. She said she received an alert of 200,000 naira. 200,000 naira. Yes, sir. Somebody shout. Yeah. Where's the girl? She's here, sir. Were you accepting that money before? No, sir. In fact, I was surprised when I saw it now. <laughs> Let your testimony be permanent in the name of Jesus. This mama has been using this stick for the past 10 years. All the way from Cameroon. The papa told the mama to raise up a padlock. When the woman raised the padlock, the same second, the same minute, the same hour, you prophesied upon the padlock. This woman threw the stick on the ground, and now she can walk without the aid of the stick. Oh, man of God. oh, oh, oh. oh let her walk, let her see, let her walk, let her see, let her walk, let mama walk. Mama walk. She could not walk like this for the past 10 years, Papa. 10 good years. Yes, Papa. So what are you waiting for? Oh, all the way Shout like for your miracle. Oh. All the way from Cameroon, Papa. Oh, Mama. 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 Oh, somebody shout again. I receive. Let their testimony be permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. The miracle is flowing like Amazon fire. Oh, okay. Yes, Papa. This man standing beside me is from Delta State. He was praying in his mind. And instantly, Papa, he received an instant alert of 329,000, Papa. <laughs> Somebody shout! Hey! Somebody shout! Wow! Oh, oh, oh. 30 minutes ago, Papa. 30 minutes ago? Yes, Papa. So oh. the time that I declare, from the time that I declared, and this hour, and this is what is called miracle keys. And since I've been preaching, the thing has been happening. When I started preaching, key. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, before you finish praying, I have heard you. Before you finish your prayer, I have answered. 
Hey, are you happy? I'm very happy, Papa. You're very happy? Very, very. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Daddy, hey. as our brother was receiving his own alert, our mother right here from Bayesa just received 67,000 Naira. 67,000 Naira! Power! Power! That is, that is the beginning of opening of keys. And that is your way forward in life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, there's a woman there. You have seen your prayers now. You, you refuse to come outside for your testimony. If I don't see you from now till the, I leave this place, that testimony, what God has done for you, you refuse to come outside for testimony. I am hearing a voice. The Lord said that you tell that woman. If she not come out for her testimony, it will become a sickness again. The sickness will rise again. It was a sickness. Papa, the lady just came out now. Oh, Madam, what happened to you? My name is Joy Maje from Nijay Republic. Nijay! Yes, sir. What happened? For almost one year now, I was ashamed to share this testimony. For one year now, I have itches in my private party used to scratch me all the time. I will see my skin pulling every time. I sleep with rub, this rub, there's this small rub. If I didn't use that rub, I cannot sleep, I cannot stay. Even if I'm walking, I will be feeling the scratching. I will be dancing without music. Just to scratch me. Without what? Without music. Because of the scratch. Yes, I was just what an attack. With style. Uh -huh. So when I came to this place now, the first day, last Tuesday, I said I want to go and relax in the hotel room to sleep. And my husband called me, said, are you here to sleep? There's Papa in the pool of uh, Bethesda. Let's go there. I said, ah, go now. You will receive the blessing. You come and give me. He said, no. So when I went there, I saw you call me. I said, God, if I can look into the eyes of Papa, I will receive my healing today. Mm. And you, you, you are coming towards me. You call woman, one woman beside me, but I saw you, your eye, looking at my eye. Just a look. When I go back to the hotel, even the scratching, even my skin that was pulling. You are just sitting down like this. You are just sitting down like that. Somebody, say. Everybody jump out and shout for your own miracle. Yes. Okay, so now after 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 the after that moment, you didn't feel any scratch again. Not you begin you, you began to observe. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Then in my dream, you came to me. Just one woman that brought envelope with baskets. I wanted to collect the envelope and the basket, and you slapped the woman. I don't say, ah, Papa, this woman wants to give me gifts. And you said, I refuse to share the testimony. I am ashamed of the good of the thing that the Lord did to me. <laughs> and I will go back with the sickness again if I didn't share the testimony. Hey. That's what you told me in the dream. In the dream? Yes, sir. God has done. <laughs> Why are you ashamed? When you are dancing like Michael Jackson on the road. Without music. Without music, you were not ashamed. Mm. When God of Jeremiah has done something for you, just looking eyeball for eyeball. Just a look. Just a look. Just a look. Somebody say, just a look. Just a look. So, right then, how long now? How long? I've experienced this almost one year now. But now, every, every day, every hour, or every minute, you experience it. Every minute, every hour. As if I'm walking on the road, though, in the night, I don't sleep. I sleep with rub. My bag is full of rub. If I'm going out to rub, if he eat me, I will look for a toilet. I will rub the thing. Ewele! Ewele! So now, so how long when, 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 when you met, when you encounter, this, have this encounter with the prophet Jeremiah? That's a Tuesday. Tuesday. Today's what? Friday, Friday Papa. Since Tuesday. Yes, put up the no, ladder in the are they put, Okay, the first, the first, is it first night? Yes, sir. Tuesday. Tuesday. How about the first day? Yes, yes sir. So Tuesday, today's what? Friday, Friday, Papa. So how many days ago? How long? Three days ago, Papa. Three days. You are not experiencing any scratch anymore. Nothing. Jam your hands together for Jesus. This power! Power! 
Madam, let your testimony be permanent in the name of Jesus. A few Apollo. minutes ago, Papa, yes. you said that there is a lady sitting on top of her testimony. Yes. That she has been unable to see her period for a long time. <laughs> and the lady just came out right now, Papa. She said she was ashamed to come outside. Why? Hey, hey, wait. There is, uh, even ashamed is a demon. Do you know that? that? Yes, Jesus said, how many lepers have I healed? Only why ten? Why only one? So that means those people that are going without their testimonies, it is not good. Anything can happen. Until you have to come out until the pastor say or the prophet say, ah, go back. It is settled. That is it. So what happened to the woman? She said due to the unable to see her period even her lower abdomen was even paining her but after the prayers when you declared upon the padlock instantly she started seeing her flow papa and the pain at the lower abdomen has disappeared let me hear from her uh, madam this morning when me i and my husband came to the prayer ground before we came to this program i were feeling pain yeah so how long were you how, how long were you not seeing a prayer before from three months. Huh? Three months. Three months. Yes. Three months. Somebody that who is not pregnant at all. Are no. Are you pregnant? No. Huh? That's what I mean now. Who is not pregnant? The prayer just ceased. Uh -huh. What happened? So after the prayer in the morning, when I went back to my hotel where I lodged, I wanted to go and take my bed. Then I saw blood were just coming out. And you told your husband, where's your husband? At the prayer, that's, that means your own up from pull up beside her. Yes, sir, she told me. She told me when we were coming here that after the prayer, prayer at uh, pull, pull up beside her, that she started seeing her period. You see now, you know. Put, put your hands together for Jesus. So she was sitting down. The Lord just told me that that period <laughs> you are sitting down on. <laughs> Problem, if you don't come for testimony. Jump. Somebody jam your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your testimony be permanent. Go and carry your babies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. A lot is still flowing here. Uh -huh. The man we are seeing now is Mr. Peter Fofoi from Ozobo. Okay. And he said that just immediately after your declaration, he just received a miracle alert of 40,000 naira. Just enter like that. Just, just enter like, like that. that. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus. Uh, you, are you surprised? I'm so surprised. So surprised. So That's surprised. My first time of seeing this. Your first time. Mm. Seeing this. Oh, but you right have been seeing people are just testifying. Of course. <laughs> I give glory to God. Let your testimony be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When you were declaring, you said that there is not only going to be healing a lot, there is going to be recharge card a lot. Okay. Papa, to my greatest surprise, this is a prayer card a lot. This woman bought this prayer card. Your prayer card, Papa, she bought it in the early hours of today, Papa. Yeah. She scratched it and sent it to her son that is staying in the USA, Papa. Okay. She was praying. When she was praying, she kept this recharge card under her phone behind the pouch, Papa. When she was praying, the phone fell down. And when, she, when the phone fell down, she picked up the phone. And when she picked up the phone, Papa, your prayer card, which she has scratched this morning and sent to her son, she saw another one inside a phone Jesus. on scratched, Papa. <laughs> Another one was sealed. Yes, Papa. On scratched. On scratched. Yes, Prayer Papa. <laughs> your God is too much, Papa. Let your miracle. Hey, even your son that who will go into now recharge it. He must testify. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Lord. So, uh, 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 hey, wait, wait, wait. Now, you can see now. If extra money can enter into somebody's pocket or purse, what about Richard's card? <laughs> That's what they said. Everything now double, double. Everything now double, double. Uh, uh, double, double. Everything now double, double. Uh, uh, in the prophetic movement. In, in the, the prophetic, prophetic movement. movement. 
receive your testimony in Jesus mighty name of pray thank you father for Jesus day amen it's been a wonderful time here in God's presence with the man of God, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotifi. As the people of God have been praying with their spiritual padlocks. Now remember that this was a divine instruction from God's servant to open the new year and also to lock the problems which they had faced in the year 2018. Now we've recorded so many wonderful miracles, testimonies, signs and wonders through that padlock as the people of God prayed with it. Now we are going to be talking to some persons who will be telling us about their wonderful experience here in the mountaintop with a man of God, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotufei. Remember that it is the spiritual padlock program. So let's talk to some persons about their wonderful experience in the service today. Good day, Ma. Tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Sister Victoria from Abuja. Okay, Ma. So tell us about your experience in the program today. Now, um, the program started today, the spiritual padlock program. It started today. Tell us about your experience during the service. Wow, it was awesome. Today was great. When the man of God now said we should bring out the padlock, we brought it out. After we brought it out, there's a lot of miracle, miracle blessing, miracle alerts. Miracle healing, miracle blessings, contracts open, doors open. So it was awesome. Today is awesome. We appreciate today. We know tomorrow is going to be a more, more blessing. More great blessings are coming tomorrow. Healings will be with more healings. Okay, so now being that you prayed with a padlock and so many testimonies have happened, meaning that I'm sure by tomorrow more will happen, right? Yes, more great things will happen tomorrow. More blessings tomorrow. So this is a sign that the year 2019 is going to be a blessed year. Wow, it's going to be an awesome 2019 with Jeremiah Omoto Fofin. Okay, Ma, so what is your advice to viewers watching and what are you expecting tomorrow? Wow, my advice to viewers is if you cannot come here, distance is not a barrier. Connect with your, t with your TV and you receive your healing, you receive your blessing in 2019. And today, I want to appreciate God for what God has done. That 2019 is going to be a great year for everybody. And tomorrow is going to be an awesome. Blessings, more blessings, more rain, more glory for tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much, my God bless. Thank you. Tell us your name and where you're from. Wow, my name is Ogaragi First Nigeria from my boy in state. Okay, so tell us about your experience in the program today. Today was the first day with the man of God, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufe, on the spiritual padlock program. Tell us about your experience in the service. Wow, wow, wow. Today's program is very fantastic, very marvelous. Because just as this morning, since I hear about this uh, cure program, I was intent to come to this program because I. Uh, Unfortunately, in fact, I'm the luckiest person today because another miracle happened to me that I received even miracle a lot of 200 naira. I received even the miracle recharge card of 200 naira. I recharge card extra wound. I don't know where it come from. I was even doubting before, but I don't know where I come from. The miracle, the new good news just came to me. So I'm so much happy. I'm the luckiest person today for having the opportunity to live in this ski program. Well, hallelujah. So you were one of the partakers of the many testimonies that took place here today. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now that is to say that tomorrow is going to be more blessed. Wow, wow, wow. In fact, I'm, I'm ready to tomorrow. Self. I'm even ready to make sure that tomorrow on will be a because I believe tomorrow on will be the best miracle. We say. Okay, so, so what is your advice now to viewers watching who have been unable to meet up with the program? What is your advice to them? Wow, wow. These people that don't understand, if they understand what is going on here, they could have run away from the place. But anyway, I'm advising all over the world. Um, I'm just advising you people. Hurry up! Tomorrow is a chance. Tomorrow is another day. So hurry up and come. If you miss this, or if you see this program, or you are home watching this, try to connect this message television. When you connect this to message television channel, you will receive your own blessing. Just like Papa receiving your own blessing, you will receive your own blessing. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Winifa. I'm from Guinea Equatorial. Okay, Ma, so tell us about your wonderful experience in the spiritual padlock program with Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufufei. Honestly, Prophet Jeremiah, I used to call him a man of the spirit. I used to say that this is not a normal human being. I used to name him that he's a spiritual being. Because the kind of things I'm seeing in this place is so wonderful in a way that 
human being cannot explain it. Human being cannot express it. For instance, there are some healings that happen in this place instantly. Somebody will come with broken leg. The person has stayed for more than 10 years. The person cannot walk. And you see just some, some prophetic declarations. You see a person just stand up immediately and walk. Somebody will come with sores all over the body, rotting, smelling. That is abandoned in the home. And you see surely in a very short second, that person will get himself and join the crowd to celebrate God. So that thing made me to believe that he's not a normal being. I just call him supernatural. For instance, for today, there was a woman that came in with vagina itches. That woman said she has suffered with that problem for some couple of time and tried to treat herself. There was no treatment for that. So when she got through the palloc opening, she got her healing instantly. So that also provokes the situation of me accepting the fact that he's a supernatural man. So now that you've seen these wonderful testimonies today, what are you expecting tomorrow? I am expecting tomorrow on my own part, open doors in every activities of my life, open doors in the things that I used to think that cannot be handled. Because from what I've seen today, I know that my own case is very little for the God of Prophet Jeremiah to handle in Jesus' name. Amen. What is your advice to viewers? My viewers to advise all over the world is that you should connect your faith to the man of God. Be obedient in his prophetic declarations. Whenever he give a command, it's good that you should stick on it and respect it. Connect your faith and believe that there is God. And only God can save you. Thank you very much, my God bless you. Amen. Tell us your name and where you're from. Thank you. My name is Thank God Benedict from Nigeria. I work in Nigeria prisons. Okay, sir, tell us about the wonderful things you witnessed in the service today. Well, what I saw, the first day I came, that was what brought me here today. My first encounter with the man of God changed my life. I came here 13 days ago at a Sons and Daughters program. I came with the crutches. My leg was broken. I've gone to five major operations. They, they couldn't join the board. But after the touch from the man of God, I began walking. I dropped my crutches here. So that made me to come today. And from what I have seen today, God is here. God is here. My expectation here is let the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, locate everybody that has the same issue, like me, tomorrow program. Because I'm not a free man. I'm very, very happy. And I will continue to partner with this ministry. Thank you. What is your advice to viewers watching? My advice to the viewers is one, it's very, very good to have a foundation, to have a spiritual father. As for me and my household, Jeremiah, the Tyler General, or one more one, is my spiritual father. So viewers out there, earlier the better. It's never too late. Making this ministry my, my, my roots, I have benefited a lot. So viewers out there, to do the same. Let them open their eyes. The way things are going, you need to have a spiritual director. That's it. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Tell us your name and where you're from. Thank you. My name is Anu Okoronkwa. I'm from a point state. I come from Abuja. Okay, sir. Tell us about your experience in the service today. My experience in the service today, I need thank God for me to be here today. Because what I see in this program is obvious. And I really thank God for me to be here. Because the reason why I'm saying this is that whosoever that are watching this in the true revision, they can be able to, if you can be able to meet up to come to this program, even if a day, I think the person will be benefited a lot. For the people that come to this program, they gain a lot. And there's so much miracles, deliverance, Blessings of God is here. For what I see today, for me to have Prophet Jeremiah as a father, I'm really happy today for me to be here. 
So I thank God for today's service. Okay, sir. So with all you've seen today, what are your expectations for the program tomorrow? For what I see today, for what for what my father did today, what is going to have happen tomorrow will be miraculously. Everybody will receive the people that doesn't receive today. They will receive obvious tomorrow. Because I see tomorrow will be greater than today. So whosoever that will be coming, come that your blessing will reach you. Whenever I come, and the Lord will, speak, will use my prophet to speak to you. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Praise you too. So tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Tochuku Nailugo. I'm, I'm, I'm from Amanambra State, but I reside in Libya. Okay, so, okay, so, so tell us about the things you saw today. What was your experience in the service today? Uh, my experience today. I'll be watching it and I'm receiving the miracle from television. That's make me to come back. Say so I will I must touch my leg here so that I will carry the anointing to go back to Libya and progress. It's too much, too much miracle. Our people don't know what to have. Nigerians don't know what to have in our home. Only foreigners knows the values when they were, what to have. Then come and collect it to go. You, my brothers and sisters over there, I'll be calling you to come. The Christmas city. You will receive your miracle. Eh? You receive your miracle. Miracle power is here. Eh? Don't, 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 don't criticize. Because you, you, you are not one who will judge. It's God who will judge. Come and receive your miracle, my brother and my sisters, who are watching me now. Even in Libya, my brothers in Libya, who doesn't believe on Jeremiah Omoto Fofui, come, you will receive your own miracle. Eh? Believe, so shall we be in your life. Because many things are happening for my life. I've, I'll receive my own from through television before I came here, I came down here. So I'm alive, I will correct everything here if I go back. The mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Tell us your name and where you're from. I am Prophetess Mona Brenda from Cameroon. Madam, tell us about your experience in the service today. The service today was very powerful. I see miracle happening. Only the declaration of our Papa. I see people rise up and walk. People were receiving miracle money. People were receiving terrible things. It's a wonderful thing. People that the message, what they have not seen the message for a long time, they started seeing the message. That is wonderful, very powerful by this program. Okay, ma, so now with the things that you have seen today, what are your expectations for the program tomorrow? Viewers that will watch this program, or oh, they are coming. I want to invite everybody to this program because what has just happened today is just a, a small thing, a greater thing is happening tomorrow. So, viewer, I want to invite everybody to attend this program. If you are sick, you have any problem, come. The God of my father, Prophet Jeremiah Mofofi, will take you free from that problem in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, my God bless. You. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Well, viewers, it has been wonderful. As you have heard, those wonderful experiences from our brothers and sisters who came to attend the spiritual padlock program day one. Now, remember, the program continues tomorrow, and it is going to be awesome. You heard what our brothers and sisters said, that today was just a tip of the iceberg. Tomorrow is going to be explosive. You do not want to miss out on this. My brothers and sisters, if you can meet up, please come. And if you cannot, remember that distance is not a barrier, as you can follow us on our TV station Mercy Television. You can also watch us on Facebook at Prophet Jeremiah Ministries. You can also follow us on Twitter at Christ Mercy Land. Follow us on Instagram at Prophet Jeremiah Omoto and watch us live on YouTube at Christ Mercy Land. Remember that distance is never a barrier to what the Lord can do. Come and open up your life for the year 2019. God bless you.